Hello, hello, what's up everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and I am here for buy or sell. But I know that the current rumor mill with Sony and Spider Man, even though Marvel has some rights to it, Sony, they want to do a Venom, possibly rated R movie, a Black Cat movie, all of these spin off movies to establish their own Spider Man universe, which is interesting. But remember when a Sinister Six movie was supposed to happen? Because I do. And I remember thinking that it was so weird. How are we going to make this movie work? In retrospect, I guess it would have been more like Suicide Squad or something at least in that vein. And maybe Spider-Man would have a small presence in it. But now that it seems like no one's even talking about that anymore. It doesn't seem like it's going to happen anymore. I'm curious whether you guys would have bought or sold on this. Would you have wanted to see this? Would you have not wanted to see this? For example, it was originally supposed to be written and directed by Drew Goddard, who was known for Cabin in the Woods, which I loved, Cloverfield, which I loved, and he started off as a showrunner for the Daredevil Netflix series, which you don't need me to describe how freaking awesome that show is. Super amazing. If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. And originally, this was supposed to be connected to the amazing Spider-Man movies with Andrew Garfield. At this point, though, like you can make this movie today and have it be connected to the Tom Holland one now. Or you can, you can do this and bring Garfield back as just like, oh, this is its own separate universe from that. Or you could have a brand new Spider-Man because it's only going to be small parts, small cameos just to show that Spider-Man exists. You don't even need to ever show Peter Parker. Just have somebody in a Spider-Man costume and not specifically say which Spider-Man it is. I think the main villain could be the Kingpin. Now, I would love to bring in Vincent D'Onofrio from the Netflix shows and just have him be Kingpin in the movies. Why not? He's a good enough actor, and, and I think he has that presence. Uh, but you don't have to do it. Once again, you could cast another actor if you want. But you can have him be the one that creates the Sinister Six. Uh, he finds them, puts them together, and he gives them the money, the resources to, to make some of their uh, weapons and equipment and everything. To But he's obviously using them. He's using them for his own greater goal. Uh, for his own gang, whatever you want that to be. Maybe they don't know about it. So the villains that I decided to use, because I wanted to use different villains that we haven't seen before, but maybe also to do something different with. So Rhino, I don't want the Paul Giamatti Rhino from Amazing Spider-Man 2. I want maybe a more traditional Rhino to look cooler. Scorpion just because we've never seen him in a movie before. Hydro Man, the effect for Sandman in Spider-Man 3 was great. So imagine doing that again, but this guy is made of water. So it's a similar effect, but it's slightly different. Chameleon, he would be the oddball. He could make himself look like anybody he wanted. Really valuable asset to the group. Mysterio, because Let's just cast Bruce Campbell as Mysterio. When I saw those those storyboard sheets of how Mysterio was supposed to be in Spider-Man 4, it was supposed to be Bruce, Bruce Campbell, like another cameo with him as that character. That just sounds awesome. And Mysterio is kind of a goofy looking villain that maybe somebody comedically could play it. Or you could do it serious and straight, doesn't matter. But then let's bring in the lizard. Now, I know the lizard was done in The Amazing Spider-Man, and say what you want to say about how they did him. I wasn't thrilled with it. I didn't think it was terrible, but not thrilled. I wish he looked better, looked cooler. I wish he had a snout. And why not bring Dylan Baker back from the original series? Because, again, we never got him turning into lizard. And I just think this is totally fan service stuff, because you might not necessarily say that it's connected to the Tobey Maguire movies, but it's still cool to finally see some of these aspects some people might say well where's dr octopus where are the bigger known the again it's, you're not going to top the doc Ock from spider-man 2 alfred molina you're not going to do better than that so i'm trying to stay away from it as as long as i can i want to do other villains and because this is an ensemble movie 
you can do these lesser known villains and not worry about, oh, well, nobody knows who they are. Like, you're really just going to see this to see if they could pull off the Sinister Six. And and you could have them be a ragtag group. You can have them mostly be villains starting out. You can have Spider-Man go after them. But again, Spider-Man's not the main character. Or you can have them finally come to a point where they realize Kingpin is screwing them over, using them. And so by the end of the movie, they not become heroes. They're still bad guys, but they then go against Kingpin and have to go against his army, his thugs, or his maybe have uh, Alexander Smythe there with a bunch of robots for them to have to fight. You could do a cool battle. I'm not necessarily saying this movie sounds even cool to me. I'm just saying that this is probably in the vein, in the, in the direction that they were going to go. So keep that in mind. Do you guys... Would you have wanted to see a Sinister Six movie? Do you still want to see a Sinister Six movie? Or are you just saying, no, be done with it. It's over. I don't want to see it. It sounds lame. It'll probably suck, especially if Sony makes it. Be honest. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later.